Here is a quick view of the history of Amtrak. First, the 1970s. As a result of the nation's reliance on cars and airplanes that led to a decline in the use of trains, Congress passed the Rail Passenger Service Act of 1970. This act created the National Railroad Passenger Corporation to take over intercity passenger rail service that had been operated by private railroads. Amtrak began service on May 1, 1973. In 1976, Amtrak took over most of the badly deteriorated lines between Washington, New York, and Boston from bankrupt Penn Central Railroad. Even though this was considered a business liability, Amtrak saw it as a way to expand service throughout the east coast of the United States. In the 1980s, Amtrak expands its high-speed service. The high-speed Washington to New York Metroliner service was improved with new trains and faster schedules. In the 1990s, improvements were made on both the West and East Coasts. On the West Coast, California gained additional state-supported trains and routes. New bi-level train cars were also introduced. The 2000s saw tremendous growth. In December 2000, the first Acela Express high-speed train, traveling at speeds up to 150 miles per hour, operated between Washington and Boston. With the success of the new Acela train, the Metroliner service concluded operation in 2006. Today, Amtrak continues to preserve its trains and improve on them. They renew salvageable equipment with electric heat and lighting. And they order newly built cars and engines with today's modern technology. They are also renovating aging stations and building new ones. Here is a picture of the new Amtrak station in New York City that was open to the public in 2021.